Hi, this is Buzz Johns. I'm the head fabricator here at Thor Sport uh, Racing, and today we're going to be building an upper A-arm for the trucks. And the first step in this is actually setting it in the jig so that we get a legend of where to start from. So we actually put it in here and tighten it all up, make sure it's set, so that when we go to build one, it's going to be exactly like this one. And as you can see, it fits the jig real snug. Then we just tighten her up. We check all our clearances, everything's tight. It's exactly where we want it. And now we're ready to begin building an A-arm. Okay, so the next step we're going to do here is actually uh, bend the tubing for the A-arm so it makes a nice perpendicular uh, transition right out of that bushing there and looks real nice. Fits the package better. So we got a bender tubing and a bender. Slide the die in there and snug this up. And then just kind of give her some gas and there you go. We're bending. What I use for my pattern is actually the old arm here. I just kind of set it up and take a look at it since we're copying it. And then if I have to make a couple of them, we actually got a digital readout here so I can repeat and do the exact same thing every time. And I happen to know my number is 105, so now I'll release it out of the die. And there you go, you got a perfect bent piece. Nice and clean. We'll check it on our part here. It's perfect. We're ready to start building an A-arm. Now that we've got our uh, jig set up exactly the way we want it, we start taking the components to put it in the jig that we're going to build our new arm from. This uh, crossbar here is made by Ronnie Hopkins. Real nice piece. They do excellent work, so it makes our job a lot easier. We set that in the jig and kind of snug it up. with this custom wrench. Make sure that's good and tight. And then that's set up. And we got some other materials here involved to be able to make this. We got the rings. Also Ronnie Hopkins already made and ready for us, tapped. These are the bushings that are gonna ride on here so the arm can swing up and down. And then the material of course, the most important thing. This is just 1018 DOM, mild steel. And we clean it up real nice because we get everything nickel plated in the end so it's nice and clean. And plus it makes the TIG weld so much easier and much cleaner. So now that we've bent our piece here, we're getting ready to fit it. This is what it's going to look like in the end. These are, we're actually going to fish mouth all the ends and everything. So we start by just kind of holding it over top here. And just kind of uh, getting a good package of how it's going to look. We actually make a mark so we can go over to the bandsaw and get started cutting. There we go. We just kind of get a couple marks there so we can get a start. Okay, we're back again with the A-arm here into the sub-assembly, so we're going to assemble everything and get prepped for weld, which is the most important part. If we can get everything nice and clean, it's gonna get us a better uh, result in the weld. And the first step is, we gotta anti-seize, the always messy anti-seize, on these bushings here, just a little bit, just so it'll help us down the line when we go to weld on it and start torquing on it and everything. Just enough to coat the shaft, and there you go. One thing too also, it's kind of a trick to A-arms, is you don't really need to tighten up these spools super tight. Hand tight is enough. There's going to be enough weld pull in this that they'll snug up really nice. So the next step we want to do is we want to make sure this is really clean before we go to weld. So acetone or lacquer thinner, acetone's probably the best. I've got a little bit right here. You don't want to keep it around your sparks too much. And we just kind of wipe everything off, make sure it's nice and clean. If it's clean enough like you can eat off it, it's ready to weld. We wipe all the surfaces we can. 
And most importantly, the part a lot of people forget is to clean the inside, because that's going to draw up with heat. And I lost my air blower, so we'll make sure to blow out the tube. Get all that grit out of there. See, they're nice and clean. So now you're ready to tack. Hello, this is Buzz again, and we're going to talk about this awesome Miller Dynasty 350 here. We love this machine here at Thor Sport. The greatest thing about it, if I could say one thing right off the bat, it's got such a focused arc. You can really get down and get a beautiful arc exactly the way you want it. We could probably get away with 90, uh, 90 amps. Uh, we're welding 083. I usually set it around 120 for a job like this. Then I have a little bit more under my foot. Uh, Gas-wise, we're going to run between probably uh, somewhere around 15 to 22. We'll probably be in the 18 to 20 range for our gas. Uh, pure argon, of course. I think I've got a number six cup here, I believe. And we like to use the straight one here. We get nice flow, no turbulent airs coming out of there at all. And this particular torch here is a 20F, a little bend. But you can do it with any torch. Rod-wise, we're going to be using uh, ER80SD2. And we're going to be using 045. Because again, we're welding a 083, so it's not like we need a lot of rod into it. We want to keep this thing cool. This machine is awesome. We love it here at Thor Sport. It's really easy to use, and it makes you seem like a really awesome TIG welder.